Hi friends, I am Pankaj Kumar and you are watching Mechanical Engineering Knowledge Junction. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to analyze a beam which is simply supported at point A and rolling support at point D and there is a point load of 10 kN here and the UDL load of 3 kN per meter from C to E. So let's start our analysis by using ANSYS APDL software. So first of all open NCCL APDL software, now go to preferences, click on a structural, now click OK, go to preprocessor, click on element type, click on add edit delete, now click on add and select beam and 2 node 188 at save function, now click OK, close this, minimize this and go to material properties, click on material models, click on a structural, click on linear, click on elastic, click on isotropic and give the value of Young's modulus as 2E5 and Poisson's ratio as 0 0.27. So Young's modulus as 2E5 and Poisson's ratio as 0 0.27. 2E5 and 0 0.27 as Poisson's ratio. Now click OK. Now close this. Minimize this. Go to section. Go to beam. Now select common section and give the value of width, breadth and height as given in the question which is 200 by 400. So give the value here as 200 and here as 400 mm. Now click preview to view the cross section of the beam. So this is the cross section of the beam. Now click OK and now right click of the mouse and replot it to hide the cross section. Minimize this. Go to modeling. Go to create. Now click on key point click on inactive CS now if the all boxes are empty and if you click apply then origin will be automatically created now you can clearly see the ori uh, coordinates of each point for example A is origin B is 2000 mm on x axis and uh, respectively you can write the coordinates of each and every point so I have already noted on a piece of paper I am going to plot the point so b point is 2000 mm that is 2 meter now click apply and c point is 2000 and 1000 now click apply and third point next point is 3000 and 1000 click apply now next point is 4000 click apply next point is 6000 that is 6 meter click apply and the last point is 8000 mm now click ok so this is all the points we have drawn now you have to we will have to join these all point with the help of lines so minimize key point go to lines click on lines click on a straight line now click here and here to minimize join this click here and here to join this click here and here to join this now click here and here to join this click here and here to join this click here and here to join this so we have joined all the line now click ok now minimize create go to meshing click on size control go to manual size go to global and now click on size and give the number of divisions you want between two points so i want to 20 divisions between each no uh, key point so I have given 20 now click OK now minimize this and go to mesh and click on lines now click here on boxes and select all the lines and click apply so meshing is done now go to plot and replot all lines so you can clearly see that from origin to second point there are 20 divisions now minimize meshing go to loads go to define loads go to apply go to structural go to displacement and select on key points so select first point and click apply first point is simply supported so select ux ui uz and rotational x and rotational y don't select rotational z now click apply and select point second last and now click apply which is rolling supported so only ui is selected and rest are deselected so click apply and now click ok so we have 
apply fixed support and rolling support now we have to apply the forces so in my displacement go to force select key point and select the point on which we want to apply the force now click apply and click here as fy and give the value of force as minus 10 kN yani minus 10000 so now click ok thus we apply the force now we have to apply UDL from this point to this point for UDL go to pressure now come down and select on beams now click on boxes and you have to clearly select all these boxes uh, you can zoom out and select this now go to apply and type here 2 and give the value of uh, UDL that is 3 kN per meter so you have to convert 3 kN per meter into 3 Newton per mm so give here as 3 now click apply now click OK now we have applied the all loads and pre pressure condition now go to solution click on solve click on current ls click OK the our solution is done so close this close this and minimize this go to general post procedure now go to element table and define a table for getting SFD and BMP now click add go to this column and select last option and type here as 3 now click apply again go to this column select this option and type here 6 now click apply again go to this column and select the last option and type here as 16 now click apply again go to this column and select this option and type here 19 now click ok so the combination of 3 and 16 will give us a BMD diagram and combination of 6 and 19 will give us SFT diagram now close this minimize element table go to plot result and click on deform shape now click on deform plus and deform shape and click ok so you can clearly see the deformation of beam under the given load condition and if you want to see this in animation of this video then you will have to go to plot control and first of all click on style and shape and size now on it and click ok and now go to isometric view again go to plot controls click on animate and now click on deform shape and now select deform plus and deform shape and click ok so you can clearly see the animation of the deformation under loads now close this and go to 2d view and click on counter plot click on nodal solution click on DOF solution click on displacement vector sum click OK so this is the displacement vector diagram of the beam so you can clearly we see the maximum value is here and minimum value at the origin and if you again want to see the stress diagram then again click on nodal solution go to stress come down and select the von Mises stress click OK so this is the von Mises stress diagram now if you want to see the SFT and BMD so again click on plot result go to line element result select here first option and in the second box select the second, third option now click OK so this is the BMD diagram and now if you want to see the SFT diagram so again click on line element result select select 6 in first box and 19 in second box now click OK so this is the SFT diagram of our problem similarly you can see the various results like uh, if you want to see the reaction then you will have to click on uh, click on plot re list result now go to reaction solution and click on all items and then click OK so this is the node number and the sim and corresponding FX, FY, MX, MY and MZ value of the uh, force and moment now close this and if you want to see the nodal loads then click on nodal loads again click OK so this is the node number corresponding force and moment are given now close this and again if you want to see the displacement vector sum solution then we have to click on nodal solution 
go to the of solution now select displacement vector sum now click ok so this is the node number and corresponding displacement in x y and z and the ultimate maximum uh, displacement are given so thus you can see the various results uh, under the general perspective uh, tree by selecting the particular parameter so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe my channel and comment in the comment section if you have if you have any problem regarding this question or you can give your suggestions in the comment section thank you bye bye